Hi guys, this is the Flamingo and uh, it's the beginning of May 2013 and uh, I wanted to show you, many of you wanted to know about the Flamingo, it's a very popular choice, it's relatively affordable. The corridor carpets are dirty and the overall feel is I suppose comparable to, I suppose, I don't know, between, maybe, I don't know, between Excalibur and New York. New York. I mean, maybe I'm not being fair, I don't know, but that's the overall feel outside. Now I'm going to show you the room we have been assigned. It's a pleasant surprise. Some plus and minuses, and I'll show it to you right now. And here we are in the room, which is on the 25th floor. I am very happy we got the high floors here for reasons that I'll show you in a minute. So I've just kind of, we just kind of got in. You can hear people chatting in the corridor. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's an adjoining room. I hate those, but you know, they're very common here. And so they are at Mirage, for example, and many other resorts. You're gonna, if you don't want them, you have to ask for non-adjoining rooms. We checked in relatively late. It's kind of, uh, what is it, 6.30 in the evening, so seven even. So, you know, tired. <laughs> but I have to tell you, the room it's, it, it has been pleasantly decorated. Okay, it looks uh, nice. Actually, would like this that type of decoration in my own home. It's relatively modern, and yet it's not plastic as some other rooms used to be like. I remember um, Flamingo. It's it. This room is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm not really sure about the name right now. Forgive me. I'm a little bit tired, but I will put it on uh, um, on, an, on a caption on top or at the bottom of the screen. Okay, and if not, you can put it on. You can read it on the information at just at the end of uh, the frame of the video. Anyway, let's start with the view. Um, this is obviously a two queen room, and. Uh, still very spacious now this is a let's call a habitat room with um, uh, through the habitat elevators this is the flamingo habitat and then of course you've got the flamingo pool over there and uh, it's relatively small I'll, sh I'll show it to you uh, on another video and this huge m monster of a building <laughs> no it's not nice to say that this huge building is obviously flamingo now i'm not keen on anything where i have to look right in front of another building but luckily um there is actually a lot of space between this wing and the other wing and, and the space is actually all of this below and that's a lot more pleasant. Uh, I remember the former Imperial Palace, you practically, in some of the rooms, you actually look into almost into another person's bedroom. I don't like that at all, and it's common to other hotels too, um, outside of Vegas. But um, luckily, as I say, Flamingo, you won't have that feeling too much because there is a bit of a distance. And as you actually lie in bed here, these are the beds, I'll show you, you actually have that view. And being on the higher floors, it's actually very, very, very pleasant. So in terms of the view, I actually like it. And in terms of the room, I think it's very nicely appointed. There's still a little bit of pink here. I don't know if you can see the pink tones, maybe not, of the, the curtains. There are a little bit of pink tones here. But I think overall, it's actually nicely appointed. And obviously, it's... Mm, freshly freshly remodeled which means that uh, it doesn't feel worn out at all it's all new um now that's the desk right there and uh, a small little cute couch and two relatively well comfortable beds let me try them <laughs> they, they are hard but they are pillow top they're pillow top on a relatively hard mattress so they will be very comfortable um the desk is a little small. You've got your high-speed internet connection. Now it reads here $13.99 per day. I mean, now it's included with their new resort fee. It's all very confusing. A check-in, not even the check-in lady knew much about it. So we're gonna have to phone and find out and you can find out all about their new resort fee, non-resort fee, internet, what's including, what's excluded. It's all messed up because they just changed it. And you can find the updates on top-buffet.com. Top-buffet.com. Let's continue with over reviewing the, this room. It's um, 
this is lino, I believe. Lami lino imita imitating wood, and it's very good. I like it. Uh, the only thing is that the TV, the flat screen TV, is very small. Um, considering how large this room is, well, I mean, it's not huge, but it's spacious. Look at how small the TV is. I don't know if you can actually get an idea. I'm almost on my bed, and there you go. It's very small. Too small. Having come from Mirage with huge TVs, I find that quite lacking. Obviously, they don't want us to look uh, to watch TV too much. And uh, so I've... This is it. I don't know if this is the air conditioning system, which is very similar to pretty much Mirage's. Uh, we were just there. And uh, so the room is very nice. Uh, what can I say? I like it. It's elegant enough, you know. Uh, it's not worn out. It's relatively newly remodeled. There are a few minus points. As I said, the TV is too small. I don't think there's a lot of uh, space for your stuff. Let's check the wardrobe. Okay, well, it goes all the way down. It's quite, actually quite long, so, and there are enough hangers, the safe is up there, only one luggage um, tray, but I think it's enough, really. Yeah, I think it's fine, I think there's enough, it's absolutely fine, it's been a, it's, it's a pleasant surprise from what it used to be. Now, as I said to you, there was a bit of confusion, confusion about the internet, this and that, what's charged, what's not charged, and as I say, I'll tell you all about it on top-buffet.com, check out the section of Flamingo, but I will also write it down on the information at the bottom of this frame video. Now, uh, the bathroom, there you go. Now, I think the top is more or less the same as it used to be, but that's besides the point. What you want to see is, well, it looks like the top is new. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's marble or granite. I think it looks granite, but I'm not really sure. The bathroom is okay. It's fine. It's clean. You know, nothing, absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with it. Now, let's see if... Um, well, you know, once you actually close the door, it's not huge. It's actually a little bit better than larger than Mirage. Um, however, I don't think this bathtub has been remodeled any, you know, I don't think it's been remodeled. The bathtub is the same as before. And I don't know if it's going to be like this because they're not doing it right now. They're not rem oh, it's just because they are all in the process of being remodeled. I can see, look, at this is really an old piece, you can tell. But, you know, I mean, look, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see. This is at the bottom of the... And actually, it's not very clean, actually, surprisingly. That's a sad, sad, but, you know, it's not it's not bad. It's not bad, okay? Just a few bits and pieces we just checked in, you know, that this is not our dirt. But, um, yeah, you know, the plugs are a little dirty. So, the, the room itself was lovely. The bathroom, I think, is a little wanting, although I do like this granite piece. But in terms of uh, what you get, it's really basic. Yeah, I don't know if they remodel them or not, but you know, this is wanting, I would say. But it is cheap. Um, oh, yes, I wanted to show you the bottom of the door. So you can see this is an old door. And look, there's hair here too. That's a shame. It hasn't been cleaned. I see all these bits of hair. Now, um, so, I don't know what to tell you. I like the room. I'm not too keen on the bathroom. I think you could have done a better cleaning. And there are, you know, a few wear and tear, bits of wear and tear. Obviously, it has not been remodeled. These panels here don't open up. Uh, not that it really matters. There is no vanity. But what can I say? I mean, for the price, I think it's fine. But as I say, it's all very confusing. Their stage of pricing it has come out are coming out of not charging for the resort to charging for the resort fee and it's all a big mess so double check triple check ask what you get for it and do your math um read our top-buffet.com site because there are pros and cons about what's best for you in terms of which place to stay to save a dollar and have the best stay and we'll have a video on the pool and on the gym which was a disappointment because it closes ridiculously early i think it's at six o'clock so check out if this is what you want sometimes saving a few dollars works out that actually it's going to be more costly because you don't enjoy the facilities and you end up playing a lot more than you would have and if you stay in a nice hotel with nice facilities you end up playing less so think about that now just before i wrap up i want to show you the coupon that you get at check-in various bits of coupons to me they're not very worth they're not worth very much but 
you have a twenty percent off flavors buffet that's a good one ten dollars off the village seafood buffet that's a fine too although the seafood buffet is expensive and a few other things like free entry to the slot tournament and you know fifty percent off and planet hollywood you know one buy one drink get one free and so forth anyway and there's all about that on top-buffet.com top-buffet.com you'll find out about buffet coupons and other coupons uh, you'll find out how to get them and uh, for any other information about uh, what's the best deal for you guys in terms of staying in Las Vegas check top-buffet.com top-buffet.com see you there guys bye bye